Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be your September love reading. We're gonna pull some cards and see what messages the universe has for you for the month of September and during this retrograde season. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? What do they need to know about their situation? All right, so we have meant to be. So there's someone that you guys are dealing with who feels like this connection and you guys are meant to be together. So let's see where this goes, Taurus. Okay, what messages do you have for Taurus? All right, so we have four cards that fall out. Wow, okay. So we have love offer, sincere offer of love, romantic gift, expression of love. We also have left hanging. I'm sorry for leaving you hanging without any explanation. So this person could have walked away. They could have ghosted you. They could have distanced themselves. But now this person is wanting and willing to come back and offer you love. We also have smoker. Somebody else got this card. I think it was Aries who got this card um, in the same position. So some of you may deal with someone who smokes hookah, who smokes cigarettes, or smoke a lot of weed. Um, this person may do that to sort of get over what they're going through with you or what you guys are going through in the connection together collectively because I'm sort of feeling like you're stressed out, but your person may be stressed out as well and you guys are not telling each other. We also have fears blocking connections, scared to take a leap of faith, losing sleep due to fears. Okay, so this person is dealing with someone else or they live with someone else. They could be married, but I feel like they want you. They feel like you guys' connection is meant to be, and they could be in this other situation out of convenience. I don't feel like they're happy there, but I feel like they hide it from friends and from family. Spare, what messages do you have for Taurus? Yeah, this person feels like you bring a lot of passion to them and the connection. And I feel like they don't want to let you go. If this person pulls away from you, Taurus, I don't feel like it was something they wanted to do. We have lustful desire, sexual chemistry, and craving you. Yep, can't move on. Whoever this is that you're dealing with, they cannot move on from this connection. I can't move on no matter how hard I try. I choose you. I'm sorry for taking so long to realize it's always been you. And we also have against time and incomparable. Rushing before it's too late. Took a long time. Walking on thin ice. This person feels like they need to hurry up and make something right with you. I feel like this is someone who feels like they owe you an apology. This person may have did something or said something. And now they feel like they need to hurry up and make something right with you. They could feel like you're not talking to them or you don't want to be bothered. But they feel like no one else compares to you. We have no one has ever made me feel the way you do. You're irreplaceable. So this person may have even tried to replace you, Taurus. They possibly tried to deal um, or date other people and no one came close to you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? Yeah, you could be setting boundaries with this person, but now they're seeing the connection from a different perspective. We have no more enabling feeling used, setting healthy boundaries, and I'm seeing us with new eyes. It's also clear now. So whatever this person wasn't seeing before, Taurus, when you were trying to make something work with them, now they're seeing it. If you're not talking to them, they may feel like they've lost you. I don't know why I'm picking up the interview that someone feels like they've lost you for good, especially if they don't hurry up and make a choice here. Yes, yeah, someone is angry. They feel like you're dating other people. We have ready to start dating, meeting new love interests, getting over someone. And we have angry. I'm angry at myself and sometimes even you for how things turned out. So this person could be mad because you're not t making a lot of effort to come towards them. It may feel like you're giving your attention to another person. Spirit, what messages? This person has a nerve though, right? If they do feel that way, because aren't they giving their attention to somebody? Oh, I'm like, what the hell? All right, so what messages do you have? I just feel like this person doesn't want anyone to have you, Taurus. Yep, I told you. They're standing in this other situation out of convenience. Their heart is somewhere else. Staying out of convenience, heart belongs somewhere else, living in a comfort zone. So they're comfortable where they are. It's like, it's, it's stable, but they're not happy. 
they're not happy with this person. I feel like it's not a lot of love and attention that they're getting. We also have pregnancy, getting pregnant, building a family, giving birth to something. So someone could be pregnant that they're dealing with or someone could have told them they were pregnant just so they could stick around and so they wouldn't come towards you or you guys could be pregnant by this person or think you are. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? Yeah, this person is hiding their emotions, whoever this is. Um, this could be the, I don't know why I'm channeling, this could be the both of you hiding your emotions. You may be hiding your feelings and emotions from this person, and they're hiding their feelings and emotions from you. I felt a lot of stubborn energy here between you and this person. I feel like someone is extremely sad and regretful over something that they did to you, Taurus. This person may cry and be depressed about it. Like literally shed tears. Yeah, they're thinking about communicating with you. We have phone call, expression of interest, wanting to talk. Communication is key. We also have friends. So this person could be talking to their friends about you. And we have thinking of you. Friends know about it. Asking friends for advice. Friends interfering. Yeah, this person. See, I feel like you were dealing with someone who was a commitment folk. It's like... They felt like they couldn't commit or they weren't ready to commit to you because we have commitment phobia. But it's bringing a lot of confusion in this person's life because they may feel like you're gone for good and they want to come back and compromise because I feel like this is someone that you're not talking to right now. You guys could be ignoring each other or this person feels like you're ignoring them on purpose. We have let's find a way to compromise instead of giving up on us. Yeah, this person feels like you're angry, but they see you as their soulmate. We have resentment, invalidated, mistreated, being triggered. Yeah, see, I feel like you're angry at them and they're angry at you. But this is a soulmate connection that you guys are dealing with. All right, so let's get some tarot. Let's see what else the universe has to say here. Spare, what messages do you have for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know for the month of September? What can they expect during this retrograde? Spirit. The Nine of Cups. This person sees you as their happiness. They see you as wish fulfillment. They feel like no one has ever came close to making them as happy as you do. So maybe you could be dealing with the water sign. We also have the Knight of Swords. You can expect for this person to come towards you in some kind of way. Um, we have air energy here, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius for some of you. And Scorpio energy, the death card. This person knows there's changes that they need to make. It's like the old them or the old way of them doing things have to die. It has to go, okay, in order for them to come back towards you and make something happen here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? In the month of September, for the month of September, what can they expect in the month of September? What can they expect during retrograde season? Patience and balance, two of cups. I'm telling you, soulmate energy here. You cannot make this up. This person feels like you guys are meant to be. I feel like this is someone who don't want to be with anyone else but you. And I feel like for some reason, whoever they're dealing with, they know it. They feel it. They feel disconnected from this person that you were dealing with, Taurus, because they already know that there's someone else that they have their eye on or there's someone else that's on their mind. I feel like even though your person may go home to someone else, or they may be married to someone else or committed to someone else. You're always on their mind with the soulmate and the two of cups and temperance. So maybe you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Yeah, you're always on this person's mind. They can't stop thinking about you with the two of cups and temperance and the nine of cups. If this person walked away from you, they're regretting it or they feel like... um they're not going to be able to stay away we have the queen of cups here water energy cancer pisces or a scorpio that some of you could be dealing with or this person is extremely emotional about you even if they try to hide it it's like it comes to the surface so 
Okay, what messages do you have for Taurus? What can they expect during this retrograde season from your person? What can Taurus expect from their person during retrograde season? Mm, coming out of the Ten of Swords energy. So this person wants to heal this. We have the Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords reversed. Some of you are definitely dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. I feel like they're keeping their feelings hidden again with the Moon card being here. Or some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. But again, Taurus, they're not going to be able to. Look at the Knight of Swords sitting right up there in the corner. This is how this person is feeling and thinking. They're like, okay, I have to heal this with Taurus because they don't want to be without you. I feel like you not talking to them is sort of bothering the hell out of them. Like the silence or something. If you're being, if you're holding back and being stubborn with this person, it's like they can't take the silence. Especially if you guys are dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or Pisces. What messages do you have? What messages do you have for Taurus? Yep. Seven of Pentacles. The King of Coins. Well, King of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Star. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius or you're dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, such as yourself, that wants to heal this connection with you. I feel like someone, they, with the Seven of Pentacles energy, it's that like they want to continue to invest in this, but they're not sure if you want to, but this person's going to come towards you regardless. They see you as they're happily ever after they feel like what it's like they still have faith in this if you've given up on them and lost faith in this taurus they have not this is someone with the king of pentacles that wants a family with you or you could have a family with this person it's like they want to be together um it's like they want to live with you or they want to take care of you There's someone here that's like, I can take care of you and live with, I mean, if you let me, I don't know what this is with this King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. I don't know. I'm trying to see what this is because I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, you're wondering, should you continue to invest in this because you've done enough already? And this King of Pentacles is like, okay, well, let me pick up the slack. They may not have as much as you do, so they're trying to figure out how they're going to do that, but they're willing to do it. Now, this person is willing to invest in this and put more energy and effort into this this time around. I'm picking up a this time around because I don't feel like, um, for those of you, if this is someone from the past, I don't feel like they did that before. You may have been doing most of the work in this connection. Yeah, we have fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that some of you guys could be dealing with, with the Ten of Pentacles. Th okay, do, do you guys have a choice between two people, Taurus? An Earth sign, such as yourself, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is what I'm picking up on here. But with this Ten of Pentacles, this person feels like you have it all. They may see you as not having any problems, worries, or a care in the world with this Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Taurus? What can they expect during retrograde? What can they expect during retrograde? Oh. All right, so we have the Hermit. Some of you can be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, you're going to get justice in this situation. This person trying to hold back or hang back. I just feel like they're doing a lot of thinking. Someone doesn't know how to approach you, Taurus. Could be a Libra or a Virgo. They're either afraid to approach you because they don't know what your reaction is going to be. Or they don't think that you want this anymore. Some of you, um, your person may have some legal issues that they may be up thinking about late at night. I'm looking at this lantern. This person looks very worried. And we do have the justice card there. Spirit, what messages 
What messages do you have for Taurus? Ace of Cups. This person wants a new beginning and a fresh start with you, and they are coming. They're, they're juggling now, though, with the Two of Pentacles. I feel like they're trying to make up their mind about something here. We also have the Emperor, Aries, Energy. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. But your person is trying to figure out with this Two of Pentacles, how can they approach you? It's like they know they have to be confident when they come in with this Emperor energy. This could be someone who's extremely bossy, but they know they have to temper that. They can't come towards you that way because you're not having it. <laughs> like, basically, so they're trying to figure out how to come back towards you or how to fix something with this Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles here. Yeah, they've already made up their mind with the Judgment cards. Maybe you're dealing with the Scorpio. Yep, here's the Reconciliation. The Six of Cups and the Judgment. This person has already made up their mind about you. Um, and I feel like this is your energy <laughs> with the Eight of Swords. Like, should I let this person back in? You know, you're thinking about something that they did or something that they said. Or maybe this person has, um, it's like they've run out of chances. Maybe you've given this person enough chances here. There's something here that you're like, I don't know, you feel like you're up in your head about it. And I feel like um, for most of you, it's the fact that because I keep seeing this two of pentacles here, some of you could be up in your head because you have a choice between two people and you're not sure who to choose. I feel like you like one more than the other, but it's like one of them, one of them provides security and stability and the other one is a hot ass mess, but you love this person. That's what I'm picking up on. What messages do you have for Taurus? Give me one more for Taurus spirit. What messages do you have for Taurus? Ah, this person wants to come out of the conflict with you. Five of Wands reverse you. Someone here is broken hearted with three of swords. This person is sad, depressed, and broken hearted about you, Taurus. They just feel like you're not going to take them back. Or they know they have to come with some truth or clarity here with the Ace of Swords reversed. And this person is afraid to. Maybe it's something that you want to know that they have to tell you or explain something to you. And they know you're waiting with the Three of Wands. Like you're waiting for an apology, an explanation, or something. And this person is like, I want to come out of this conflict with Taurus. But I don't know how it's going to go. And I feel like this person could be afraid. If they're not afraid, it's like you intimidate them. It's something intimidating about you when it comes to this person, Taurus. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.